level. That's something else. Oh my word, mate, how good is this? Hey, I'm Jesse. Behind the camera is Will, and we are top. <laughs> Now this is a slightly different one. We've been doing a lot of 48 hours in, but this is going to be the first of our road trip series. Using Shiro, we've gone and got a Land Rover Discovery, perfect for the four of us, and all Bill's kit, of which there is a lot. A boatload, all right? Introducing the girlfriends on this one. Tory Lamb, Sarah Mills, Legends. Oh, look at that. I've never that's seen that before. Funny. That's cool, mate. We're gonna go follow the coastline all the way around, stopping off at some of the best spots there are. We're gonna meet incredible people, eat amazing food. Heaven on earth, Will. Mate, let's get cracking. It's been a pretty eventful 24 hours, Will. Packed all our kit in, we left London, and last night we drove down to Exeter, about three and a half hours from London, stayed in Hotel Divan. 7 a.m., I was ready for a swim, and these legends surprised me with sparklers, cake, Hats, cards. It was fun. Thank you very much for that, Will. We had a little swim in the hotel, a heated outdoor pool. Honestly, heated outdoor pool, three of the best words in the English language when put together like that. And it is one hell of a way to kick off today. My birthday. Now in the heart of Cornwall, in Rock, kicking things off at the Mariners. The Mariners is owned by a very famous chef called Paul Ainsworth. He has about six restaurants in this local area. This is his latest venture, proper pub, Food. I'm so excited, Will. You just, you just know. I mean, this guy got a Michelin star, and he's doing pub food. It's gonna be nuts. Tell me a bit about the food at, at Mariners. So we believe that all the things that we're giving you are the best that we can get our hands on. If you just look over there, Jess, right? See those things floating in the water? That's poor Philly oysters. When you're sat here, that's the oysters right there. And for me, again. They are some of the best oysters in the world. Not just in this country, like in the world. I'm gonna start off with our Port Philly oysters. What we've got here is Rockefeller, Parmesan, Basil, Parsley, and Brioche crumb. Here, raw in their purest form. And then this one is my ultimate cheese on toast. And the smell of that. Next, spiced buttermilk chicken. We marinate the chicken thighs in the buttermilk for 48 hours. This is like a birthday breakfast of dreams, isn't it? <laughs> like, am I awake? I don't understand. <laughs> Guys, eat, 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 eat. Hi, I'm Paul, you've given me an incredible start to my birthday. Thank you very much. Right, well, how are we going to follow that? Sharp's Brewery, on we go. They said that I'm not really dressed appropriately for a tour around the brewery, so... Got to scrub up, Will. <laughs> Bob, you're an animal. Oh. oh. Bit of a cream pie, Will. Scrub <laughs> Look at that. We've just seen a bit of brood in there, all in here. Thanks very much, Dave. Cheers, Sarah. See you later. Nice little nine pints in the cask here. Well, we've gone from beer to wine, and I'm feeling just fine. We're at Trevorburn. Trevorburn? Trevorburn. Guys, does anyone know how to say it? Trevorburn. 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 We're at Trevorburn Mill. This is an orchard. There's 1,700 apple trees here, a vineyard, 25 acres. They planted it 10 years ago. They've been making wine ever since. This place has won tons of awards. They're in the top 20 vineyards in the UK. No mention of the sunflowers, mate. Well, the sunflowers. Just come out today, just for us. It's top jaw. Heard they're coming. Where's yeah. the, the shot looking, Kay? I think we did. And the flies are done. All right. Woo! Ready to drive top? Yeah. We're in Touchdown in Pasto Town. I mean, we're so close to the sea. You can hear the seagulls. We're gonna have some killer seafood. And we're about to hit two of the best. Number one, Barnaby's. They got dishes with like Middle Eastern, Italian, Spanish influences. They're just cooking really good grub. They wanna make it feel like you're just over at your mate's house. It's really cozy in there. Very, very little neat and tidy in there, isn't it, Will? Nice, cute and small. Let's smash it, bro. Let's go. These are Porthidi clams. It's the same place that we got the oysters from. Oh, Will, so fresh, so lovely. Right, for the lawn, people say it's like the best restaurant in Padstone. We have this fish counter right here. 
And the idea is that you pick what you want from that and then you can have it in Asian style, classic style. They will make it how you want it, but they'll do it very, very well. We're gonna have some of their small plates. We'll, we've gotta have prawn on the lawn, seeing as it's called prawn on the lawn, right? We've gotta have prawn on the lawn because it's called prawn on the lawn. Right? we got to have slug on the lawn. we got to have prawn on the lawn. When we asked for like Cornwall recommendations, Prawn and Lawn was probably the one that appeared most, so you think Will? Mm. I'm quite a good one. One of those little prawn sweets. Beautiful. Chip Ahoy. I mean, sure is popular. This is a Thursday night, closed at 8 o'clock, which is about an hour and 10 minutes. I had it, we were told by the old boy in there, it's fresh off the boat this afternoon. Off the boat, into there, into the batter, into, into the fryer, into there. So we picked up a few things today, haven't we? Yeah, picked up a few things along the way to work on this ensemble. Got some girls. We've then gone, got our sharps. Huh? We've got our sh cask of sharps, and then very nearby, we picked up. You right, mate? Haddock, which has come off the boat this afternoon. Straight. Oh my. Oh my god. That is. We've never had an outtake that extreme. Go on, Will. Put that camera down. Happy birthday, Jess. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Will. Let's see what Pat says. Go to Full day. Get a load of this. Good morning, mate. Morning. Hey. Come on, mate. Look at these views. You've got the sea over there. You've got all these like beautiful little pickledy pickledy roofs. We're kind of we're kind of freestyling today. We've got some beaches to go to. A couple of beautiful lunch spots. We're just gonna get on the road and see where we go. Well, plan. Mate, I feel so much better after having some food. I'm gonna go back to our room to get our own film live, the one that came out before this one. Click here to watch it. And also please like and subscribe right now. It makes a massive difference to us and get seen by more of those lovely eyes. Well, I think I'm enjoying myself. Mate, how good is this? Wait, look at the weather. Look at it. This is sick. You can walk this coastline all day. So we're gonna take five and then head on to lunch. So we're now having a very late lunch at Canteen. We've just been chatting to Ben, the owner of Canteen, and he is incredibly forward thinking. And this is a very people-led company. These guys don't really have a menu. They kind of have one thing every day. They do it spectacularly well. And at lunchtime, in the short window that they're serving lunch, this place is packed. All prepped here, all prepped right here, and cooked from this wood fire. It smells amazing. We are going to take it about a one minute walk down there yeah. and eat it on the cliff. Smoked lamb, roast potatoes, sticky onions. It's a nice sunny day, so this is going to taste real fresh. We need to move on, get back on that road. Back in that landy. Let's rock and roll. We're off to get our first cream tea of the entire trip. I'm actually surprised we'd last this long without one. Watch. Okay, so we've come to uh, Trabaskis Farm, recommended by Ben. He said that it clears aside your arm, and he was not lying. All, all these cakes in here look like they'd be made by like a sociopath. They are on acid. Who else is on acid? It's the girls. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Careful. Thank you. Right, Jesse, what have we ordered, mate? We thought we were coming here for cream tea, but then we just sought the uh, psychopath cakes. So we six cakes, and we probably just needed two. <laughs> this is a Rolo cake, lemon meringue. La, 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 la. We got Oreo mouse, and this is a milk foy, like a raspberry pastry. Oh, shut up, Jesse. Can we eat now? Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh. 
Oh my word. No. Oh my word. Honestly, the groans that come out of this. Filming. Let me Yes, mate. Jig yes. in. Can I eat, please? Yes. You. On the road again, mate. I feel sick. Mate, it's gold now. Look at that church with the sun on it. How pretty. Tonight, we are spending it in Penzance and we are staying at Artist Residence. Got the name because it first opened in Brighton when a couple took over their parents' B&B. And rather than decorate the hotel themselves, they invited artists to come and stay and decorate each room individually in their style. And in return, they could stay in the B&B and thus you got artist residence. Are you? So Are you? Good. Because this place smells fantastic. This is Totty. We'll be speaking to the owner, Paddy. I quite like how he did this, right? He said, well, I got a book from Pizza Pilgrims. I was like, lol, so this is quite new. We filmed a Pizza Pilgrims before we started this, like what, three, four years ago, Will? Taught himself how to make Neapolitan pizza with a frying pan he bought. Why is it called Totti? He loves Italian football. Totti was his favorite player when he was a kid. He backs himself as well. He was saying, look, you gotta try my margarita. It's the sign of any good pizza place. Got a beautiful little wood-fired oven in there. Great branding. Let's go in, Will. So what do we really think of Will's hair? I think he's got some work to do. Yeah, with yeah, hands? Yeah, I don't know, I think it's a car. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, my mic, my mic, my mic. Oh, boom. Yeah. Crabby Paddy. <gasps> I wasn't looking for one second and I dropped it. Great. Okay. Good evening, guys. Good evening. 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 Much. Cheers, Paddy. See you later. We must say, in these sleepy little Cornwall towns, everything kind of closes at like 9, 10 o'clock. We come to Artist Residence, probably the nicest place in Penzance, where we're staying. And we've ordered a load of mains that we're going to share. Woes are woes are woes. We've got pork belly ribs, half chicken, kicked in a beer can, mac and cheese, whole sea bass. Absolutely. Yeah. Morning! What's going on? Mate, I'm just about to have a little cuppa on this terrace looking over Penzance. Should we just live together? Should we just cut the shit and just move in together? Yes. Yeah? We're beating around the bush. Both want it. Want, both want it. Artist residence, you've been great. Now it's time to hit the road. <laughs> Place is this the Zay? This is actually an unplanned one. So many people have recommended to borrow a bakery, but we thought, well, not really have time to go there, driving past, we're like, that's it, that is to borrow a bakery. Started by two guys, two brothers actually, Ben and Tim. Not the not the friendly service that we've been used to in Cornwall. Not that many smiles. But we can provide the smiles around here, can't we, Will? Yes, sir. Right. That looks so good. Mate, it looks certified banger. Yeah, that's next level. That's something else. Mate, sweet things, perfecto. Savory things, huh. Where are we? Um, well, you keep asking me. I don't know. We've driven, this is about an hour and a quarter away from Penzance. We stopped at Dabara Bakery, and now we're in Port Scavo. One word, Port Scavo. It's beautiful. Hey. Get my... Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, <laughs> Let's have a looky. Popular, mate. It's real popular. I'm getting you, mate, at Twin Peaks. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Soft serve ice creams, marshmallows, candy floss. You've got a sweet tooth, Will, so this should be right up your street. Yeah. <laughs> it's loud. Cornwall dog game is strong. We found it! So there's no signpost, but we knew everyone was walking to something. Parked up, got one of the last good parking spaces. Walked down a steep hill, and look, hidden hut. We're here for a few reasons. That beach, that sea. I mean, these are the kind of days where when we're in London, you just long to be somewhere like this. You know what I mean, Will? 
This little hut here has actually been here for 70 years. It's on a National Trust owned footpath. But then in 2011, a couple bid for this, bid for the lease, thought they could do something different with it and have turned it from a little beachside snack hut into one of the hottest spots, definitely in the county and probably in the country. Luckily, Will and I have got some very kind girlfriends who are standing in the queue for us. <laughs> This is where you're taking food from. They cook it all here. Got a little ticket. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much, mate. Here we got mackerel with bacon, you know, ciabatta, lettuce, aioli. This is the lamb tagine with sultanas and raisins in it. Here are some very fresh sardines. We've got hummus, flatbread. What are you most excited for? Um, probably the lamb tagine and hummus because it's just like hummus. Final stop, isn't it? Oh! oh. Man. Isn't it? Isn't it? I know so much about this place, mate. So this is Lost Gardens of Heligan. It's a really, really cool story. It used to be a beautiful garden hundreds and hundreds of years ago, but in 1990, it had all been overgrown and they started to restore it. Biggest garden restoration project in the world. It's 200 acres and beautiful, exotic, tropical plants, trees, Fruits. Let's take a look around, man. Yeah. Woo. I keep saying this. We're still in England. We're still in the UK. Look at this place. Flickles on it. Yeah, how like they're doing Jungle Book. I want to be a man, a man cub. I stroll right in the town. town. There's actually 3,000 combinations of walking around these gardens. Hey, Jesse, look at my honeys. You'll never get this, you'll never get this! <laughs> oh my days, you are so sweet. Look at this dog. It's one thing Cornwall does very well, it's beautiful dogs. That's it. I mean, our activities in this road trip, apart from maybe a couple of Starbucks on the way back, is over. I loved it, mate. Absolutely loved it. What were the highlights? Highlights were Ben from Canteen and cooking us that incredible food, eating it with that view. I mean, the weather's been a highlight. Big up to the weather. Meeting Paul Ainsworth. How good was that? Michelin star chef. And he pulled it all out of the bag real last minute as well. Like, we were just like, oh, can we come film with you? It's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> that was amazing. That kicked off with a bang. We've got a long old drive back to London now. But first, big thanks to Churro for sorting out our whip. Currently covered in flies. Pussy was so fly. Oh, mate, big thanks to the girls. Big thanks to the mega babes. Yes. For putting up with us. <laughs> On all our films this year, we've had loads of comments, people being like, the editing is amazing, and it is. So, a moment to say thanks to our editors, Rob, Jack, Nadav, Sagar. Nigel! Nigel! Nigel, Nigel the colour grader. You're all legends, thank you so much. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, tell your friends, tell your dad, tell your dog, get everybody involved in Top Jaw, and we can keep making these. See you on the next one. Where's the next road trip, Will? Tell me, boy! Will and I at the start of this year, actually when we did the Paris video, we were like, end of this year, end of 2019, we'd like to hit 100k followers. Oh wait, I mean, we're getting there. Tommy, you're the oldest. I'm counting on you. Come on. Oh my god. So good. I